Look at this new poll. It shows 41% of voters prefer Trump on the economy to 34% for Biden. David Barnson with us this morning. How do you think Mar-a-Lago man stacks up against Scranton man? David? Well, obviously, that whole language is class warfare and yep. political marketing. And I suppose it's, it's fine as a political message. But substantively, I get tired of the class warfare. And candidly, wages grew the most after mm -hmm. Trump's business tax cuts at the lower income levels. That's, That's where the highest percentage of wage growth came from when we did that very needed business income tax reform. So there, there's things that I might disagree with in the Trump economic platform, but those are the things that Biden continued with. For example, he hasn't touched any of the tariffs at all that President Trump put on. So I, I don't think that there's as much daylight as he wants to say, other than in areas where President Trump was pro-growth and President Biden is clearly not pro-growth. David, one of the most popular features of your appearance on this program is when you give us some dividend picks. That's the nature of your business, picking a strong dividend and growing dividend players. Start with Kenview. They, you like them. How much they pay and where they're going? Well, Kenview has a 4.5% yield, but the, it is a spinoff from Johnson & Johnson. For decades, Johnson & Johnson had a huge consumer staples product, Tylenol, baby shampoo, you know, products that um, almost every household in America has. That's what Kenview is. So great dividend, and we think a standalone company that is not getting near the attention it deserves. Lockheed Martin, I understand the attraction of that in time of war. How about the dividend? Well, again, you're talking about right now, if you bought the stock 10 years ago, you're getting 8% dividend year over year on what you paid 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And the stock on top of that is up 175%. So that's where this dividend growth matters. So right now you buy it at about a 3% dividend. They've grown the dividend 9% per year cash on cash growth and yes it's true with all the geopolitical uncertainty people like a company like lockheed feeding our defense sector but this is a very profitable company in all kinds of periods we love lockheed martin <laughs> so does america uh, david thanks very much for joining us i know we'll see you again real soon